Now, first alert weather with meteorologist Tyler Jankowski. If you were on Lake Mempermagog or in Newport earlier, you probably wondered what was this? Well, it was a funnel, but it was not a tornado that would have to touch the ground. Didn't even come from a thunderstorm or a supercell thunderstorm. What it was was a little downpour moving east to west over Newport. This radar from 615 this evening wanted to show you here that there was very little rotation in the storm as it moved along would even call it a storm. It's a downpour that went through, but there was just enough spin underneath the cloud to produce that funnel and it was about 10,000 feet up. That was it and it made for a scary scene across that part of the Northeast Kingdom. But right now it's quiet. We have some clouds to the south. Those will spin over Rutland and Bennington tonight, but it's comfortable out there with not any humidity. The storm risk not going up until Monday and overall the next week is a cooler pattern cooler than most of the summer we've had so far. So the plan overnight shows numbers in the 60s by morning. Totally clear sunshine by first thing in the morning. Still 71 in Burlington. We have 61 in Newport and 62 in Lebanon, but the dew points remain low, so it is refreshing out there. There's the sun first thing on Futurecast. And we keep the sun through the afternoon, but some clouds will come in. It's just like today, especially the farther east you are, there'll be more clouds and a handful of towns will see a shower. Most of us staying dry tomorrow. And then on Monday, different story. We have a cold front coming in. I think as early as about 11 o'clock Monday morning, we'll be watching for a line of storms. This is coming in from Canada. It reaches the Champlain Valley late afternoon and early evening before it diminishes. So. If you're in the Adirondacks or in northern New York on Monday, that's where the storms are most likely, probably weaker in Vermont. Speaking of weak, Tropical Storm Josephine, this is the 11 o'clock advisory. It's not expected to impact much land. Only land would be the island of Bermuda, and by that point, it's not even a tropical storm. It's just a gusty rainstorm, so a little bit of a breather in the Atlantic. At least for now, we're approaching the peak of the season, though, soon. On Lake Champlain, tomorrow looks nice. Waves of 1 to 2 feet. Remember, the lake level is low, so if you are do, doing boating, that's something to keep in mind. So comfortable to start out with 50s for most of us. Highs around 84 in Burlington. In the Tri-Lakes, we're talking about upper 70s, like 78 in Lake Placid. And 70 in Stratton and Peru. Here's the five-day forecast with the storms, especially later Monday. If any storms linger into Tuesday, it would be in the morning. I don't think much of Tuesday is stormy. should end up being pretty dry. Wednesday is dry, and then there'll be a few showers on Thursday, but we should have a pretty nice finish to next week with highs in the low to mid-80s, sun on Friday and Saturday, not tracking action next weekend until the latter half of the weekend for Sunday.